Hey there, fellow farmers, and welcome to the most thrilling series you'll ever witness, the Zero to One Billion Dollar Challenge. That's right, folks. We're diving headfirst into the ultimate test of grit, determination, and ingenuity, starting with nothing but a piece of land, a truck, and a chainsaw. Join me on this epic journey as we embark on a series of heart-pounding adventures fueled by nothing but our passion for success and the incredible mods from the Giants Mod Hub. From humble beginnings to unimaginable heights, we will witness every triumph, every setback, and every moment of pure and adrenaline-filled excitement. Together we will plow fields, chop trees, construct buildings, and much, much more all while strategizing, innovating, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. With each episode, we'll inch closer to our ultimate goal, reaching the mind-blowing $1 billion. But hold on tight, because the journey comes with some non-negotiable ground rules. Rule number one, no loans. That's right, folks. We're not taking the easy way out. We're building this empire from the ground up without borrowing a single dime. Rule number two, no leasing. We're not out here to rent equipment. We're here to own it, master it, and make it work for us in ways that was never thought possible. And rule number three, no using the farm production pack. It's broken and OP. So buckle up, hold on tight, and get ready to witness history in the making. This is not just a series. It's a roller coaster ride of epic proportions. Get ready to be inspired, amazed, and thoroughly entertained as we embark on our zero to one billion dollar challenge. Good morning, everybody. All right, it is January. So for breakfast, we had pancakes, sausage, a banana, and a large cup of coffee. All right, today we got things that we need to get done. Um, we need to buy some land and expand. And we need to get into animals. So let's get this thing started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy us a new plot of land. And I am thinking this plot of land right here is, is gonna uh, suit us just fine. So we'll go ahead and buy that for 79,876. And of course, the first thing we got to do is we got to clear the grass off of it. So let's go cut some grass, yo. We're on our way to the new plot of land to clear it of grass and get situated. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about moving the greenhouses down to here. Uh, I think the land is better suited for it. And I think that uh, it'll be a better fit for us. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta clear the, we, we gotta get the grass off of it, you know? So let's go ahead and get this stuff going and we'll talk about what's next.
That was quick work. Oh no. <laughs> We've got just a little bit more to do. I spoke too soon. Alright, well, we'll we'll just knock this out really quick and only it, it only take a second. We took a quick work at that. I'm pretty happy with uh, what we got done. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong button. <laughs> that button, that button. Uh, let's fold this up for a second. We need to get across the road. And we'll, we'll talk about things for a second. Uh, it was either last month or the month before. I don't know, time flies when you're having fun. But I was talking about moving uh, the greenhouses. And I think moving the greenhouses over here will suit us best because then we're not uh, tying up land that we could possibly be making fields. So let's go ahead and look into here. We'll spin this around and give me a second and let me get this a little uh, terraform just a little bit. All right, we got a nice flat spot to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a large, uh, the large open air greenhouse down and let me get it placed and I'll tell you why we're going with this bad boy. It's uh, $20,000. There. All right, we got this bad boy placed down. So let's talk about why it is that I wanted to get this. So if we look into the productions, right? Um, I was reading the production manuals of the other one and I found out that with this one we can make corn seeds here at uh, 48 cycles uh, 480 water 20 seeds 20 fertilizer makes 3,840 corn um, every cycle so in theory if we get this bad boy running, we'll have enough seed to be able to run multiple greenhouses like the grapes and the olives and stuff like that. So the idea is we're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> we're going to do that and use this plot of land to uh, do all that stuff, which means that we're going to have to spend some money and uh yeah so the next thing we need to put down is we need to put down yo know, come here the, uh a couple of the red barns because we're gonna clear out the one that we had before so let's see we can put them relatively close there's one Let's give ourselves enough room to get in between the two. We'll do that. We also need to get down a couple of where are the buildings at? The multi crop things. This is the stuff that we use to make digestate and everything. So we're going to need one. And, oh, it overlaps. All right, let's do that. We also need to get a water spigot. There's what we're looking for. Um, let's see if we can spin it around like this. And then, um, here we'll toggle three it because I really want to get it in kind of out of way place we'll put that down there all right now we need to get some greenhouses placed oh we're running out of money are we gonna have to <laughs> are we gonna have to sell stuff uh yes we're gonna have to sell stuff 
So we'll stop here. And we'll go grab some grapes and we'll go sell some we'll go sell some we'll go sell some grapes. So give me just a minute. We're up here by the tent. I know we've got uh, plenty of grapes that we can sell. But the problem is it's gonna take a minute. Right? <laughs> they take a minute to offload. So let's get this going. We got 134,000. So while we're doing, while we're messing with that, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the honey. We've got some honey. We'll go ahead and sell some honey. I'm not sure how many pallets of honey we've got, but here, we'll take a look real quick. We've got a, uh, there's two, there's three. Another one might pop. We'll, we'll see in a second. Oh. We'll take the truck into town. We'll disconnect that. Um, yeah, we got three in a bit. Ooh, hang on a second. Uh, can we put them in the, can I put them in the inside? Does this work? Uh, yes, it does. We'll take all the honey. All right. We got uh, 1,400 liters of uh, honey. All right. I'll see you guys in town. All right. We're coming across the bridge. Uh, let's take a look to see where we can sell the honey at. I'm not going to do it that way. We have to do it this way. Honey, 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 honey. There it is. Uh, sell everything wins. Mm, now the question, I don't know if it'll take it directly. I don't know if it'll take it directly out of the. Uh, here. Hmm. Yes, it worked that way. We made $4,877 off that honey. All right, that's cool. All right, uh, close that back up. Oh, while we're at it, I need to buy uh, rock salt or uh, road salt. So let's go into the store and buy road salt really quick because I believe we are out. All right, there we bought uh, twenty four hundred dollars worth of road salt. <laughs> we have to, it's gonna take a minute to load all this up, but give me a minute. All right, we got half of it in here. I don't want to put it all in here because we have to put it in two different buildings over there. So the beautiful thing is it's not very far, right? It's just across the bridge, and boom, it's right there. So. We'll drop it into one building. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some fixing there. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. I told you my terraforming sucks. All right, open up the tailgate, offload. All right, we'll pick up the other one and offload it, and I'll be right back. Here goes load number two. All right, that takes care of that. We'll take this back up to the water tank and I'll grab the grapes next. The grapes are done offloading. We've got 134,590. I know what you guys are thinking, saying. You're like, Chab, run it through a factory. We're not ready for the, for the producing grapes yet. It's a great idea, but we're not there yet be patient with me i've got a plan right i've got a plan we need to get uh some pieces of land uh, and we need to get this greenhouse situation uh taken care of and then uh maybe later we get some animals going sell everything wins again 
All right, big money, big money, no whammies. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 235,647. So let's get across the bridge. And now we can uh, spend some more money, put some more greenhouses down, strategize, right? This is, um, we're, we're trying to make it easier for us in the future because we're gonna have multiples of these greenhouses and um, it, it, it needs to make sense. We need to make uh, make sure that we're using the amount of space and property and all that other good stuff to our best advantage. So let's come in here. Let's look into productions, greenhouses. The multi fruit greenhouses is what we're using. Um, how do I want to line this up? I think I want to line them up like this. All right, more terraforming. All right, how do I want to? I, I think I want the pipes hanging out the back. Yeah, this is how we want it. So let's get, and let's see if we can get them relatively close to each other. Um, back this way, just a scotch. There's one. Two. Three, four, and five. All right, let's go. Let's go see how how awful and um. All right, yeah. There's some ridges in here. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of ridges in here. Like I said, my terraforming sucks. But this placement is, um, oh, good Lord. That's wonky. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. Hey, as long as it takes it, that's all that matters. Right. Um, yeah, it's an optical illusion. Don't look at it. All right, the next thing we need to do is I need to run, uh, we need to run silage into the biogas plant, right? And get some more money coming in that way. So uh, yeah, give me a minute. We'll grab all the silage from here. I'm not sure how much is here, but we're gonna grab it all. Uh, 23,000 liters. Let's go to the other silage maker and see what's there. We're at the other silage maker. Let's see how much is in here. We did it moving 435,000 liters of silage. Man, <laughs> I didn't realize we had that much, but yeah, uh, we can make some money and some digestate out of it. That'll be amazing. Let's go up here and grab seeds. We've got 40,000 or 47,000 liters of seeds. It's not as many seeds as I'd like to have, but it's not a bad start either. So we'll take this over to our new garden area and we'll walk you through the process. We need roughly uh, 2000 seeds in here a month uh, for the corn. 
So let's see if we can get it down to 45. Uh, that's a little over, but we'll take it. Now, let's see. Calculations, calculations, calculations. Uh, roughly 30,000 liters of seed per each greenhouse. So let's do this. We'll put um, 24 in one and 20 in the other. I guess that'll work. <laughs> That's what we got. We'll split it up the best that we can. Close. All right. Woo. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bumpy ride here, but we'll, we'll. I'll eventually smooth it all out. All right. We'll put the rest of the seeds in here. Now I need to grab the fertilizer. Now, I believe I've got fertilizer over here and the new uh, silage uh, plant that we had put down, the big one. I'm, I, I'm trying to go off memory and I'm an old dude and sometimes my memory fades, but I believe we've got some fertilizer in here. Let's double check. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> hey, power sliding into everything. Well, at least we didn't break the hitch. All right, let's come in here. Let's see what we got. Do we have fertilizer in here? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, it is. There it is. Hey, we got 40,000 liters. I'd love to have more, but you know what? We got what we got. We'll make it work. All right. And one of the reasons why I wanted to move this is you see how close this is. It's a, it's a far less drive. It's, it's more convenient. Um, now I would like to get to the point to where we're not moving this stuff around by, you know, and we can get it to automatically distribute. However, I'm not at that point yet. And <laughs> to be honest, I need to do a little more research on how all that stuff works. Right. The, the, the books aren't all that, um, informative. All right, let's get uh, 2,000 liters in here. That works. And then what do we need? Uh, we need roughly 15,000 liters in each one. So we'll, let's see. We'll go um, to 20, roughly. 28. 24 uh, that'll work and then we'll put uh huh. can we get uh fit so 15 uh let's get it down to six maybe 17 13 10 uh that works and then you know what We'll, we'll just sell this in town. Give me a second. Just check the app. The uh, sell everything wins again. It barely beat out the port, but you know what? Barely is is, is good. We need all the pennies we can get. 34,298. That'll be extremely helpful. So the next thing we do is we're going to go up here. We're going to park this bad boy under the olives and let it move stuff and then we'll grab the uh we'll grab the water tank and get herbicide down here all right we've got forty-four thousand liters of olives uh we'll let that load up we'll grab this bad boy um oh i wonder does it have water in it i bet it has water in it it does all right <laughs> i'll see you guys at the new greenhouse section here we are let's uh dump water in here and we'll give it all of it the good news is this tank empties way faster than it fills up so that's a beautiful thing and lickety split just like that the water's gone let's go grab the herbicide all right we got thirty-three thousand liters of herbicide let's let's uh load it all up and we will take it over yonder let's see if i can uh split the tank 
We'll put half in one. Oh, good. It, it sees it. That's a good thing. Oh, that worked out good. Uh, we'll put the rest in here. All right. I have to grab water. So, uh, where did I put my water spigot? There she is. Give me a few minutes and we'll get this taken care of. While we're waiting on the water to fill up, the olives are done. So let's take the olives to town and we'll sell them. Here's your chance to uh, guess how much money we're gonna make out of 44,000 liters, 580 olives. Um, this is the first time I'm selling them. I'm not sure how much we're gonna make. Big money, I hope, yo. We're at the bridge. Let's see if I can find olives. Doo -doo. Olives, olives, olives. All right. Uh, sell everything is 17. Um, sell everything wins today. So, I don't know. Maybe 60 grand? Seventy six thousand one hundred and sixteen. Hey, that's better than sixty grand. I will take that. Let's go grab the let's go over here and grab the water. Look at that. We timed it out just right. Like I said, <laughs> it takes a while to fill it up. It doesn't take long to empty it. Let's put water in both the greenhouses and then we'll <laughs> we'll get it going again and we'll start getting productions going 17 16 15 14 13 12 boom uh nope close enough we'll put the rest in here we'll hook it back up to the spigot and get more water going we're gonna need to fill out both those green buildings and we need to fill up the uh the red orange too so there we go start filling that up all right cool let's go into our production chains come in here open this up large we got the corn with seeds and fertilizer uh yeah we've got enough seeds we got enough fertilizer in here and we got enough water to get this going so we'll activate that and she's off and running oh and while we're at it um well hang on a second i'll change that in a minute now let's go over to the greenhouses the first one's going to be grapes will the door open hey there's nothing to see here right <laughs> nothing to see here all right we've got the water we have seeds we we've got everything we need so we'll activate grapes here and then we'll come over here and we'll activate olives everything that we need to get that going so that's activated all right we got we got grapes and olives going, so yeah, we'll have money next month. We've got this going, so now we need to get water in both these red barns and both these green things. So, yep. Give me, give me a few minutes and we'll get this knocked out. One water tank. Oh, good. That'll take care of both these buildings. second water tank these red buildings are thirsty and they're going to take every bit of it and our third water tank we'll drop this into this red building red barn yo see it there you go 
and then we'll park it back in front of the water tank and and uh prime it again or not the water tank but the the, the spigot because we'll need if we're getting animals right we're gonna need we're gonna need water to feed them too so this thing's gonna live here a lot we we may have to uh we may have to think about getting <laughs> a bigger water tank all right let's go into here and let's get these bad boys working uh herbicide yes please uh activate come in here let's activate you also One production shed. Where's the? That's the problem when you have multiples. Oh, I activated one, so I need to find the one that's. Oh, here it is. Activate that. All right, cool. That's going. All right, the next thing we need to do is. Grab this bad boy, and we need to go grab the lime out of the red barn up by the tent. We're up at the red barn. Let's see what's in here. Uh, all right, there's no wheat, no barley. We do have lime, corn. Um, hopefully, the, yeah, the only thing we have... Oh, there's more seeds. All right. Uh, so, hang on a second. We'll have to stop this from distributing because I want to get rid of that barn come in here open that up all right where are you here are you this is this it this one yeah medium come in here take that stop nope Storing. Cool. Now let's grab the lime. Because what I want to do is I want to sell that building, <laughs> these greenhouses, that building, and eventually that, right? And uh, claim our land again. All right, so. I was watching the video with my wife the other night there and she pointed out to me that I say the word all right a lot. <laughs> Maybe I need to have an all right counter of and, and keep track. I'm not sure if I say it a lot a lot uh, or not. I believe I do. Have you guys noticed it too? It does it bother you or is it just part of, you know, it's part of the ambiance. It's it's what makes jab jab. I, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure I do say it a lot. Let's come in. We'll drop this into this red barn right here because we can always use the line again later. Ugh. And I want to test out to see. Oh, no. If we're going to. I did give myself all right as long as they're not tractor trailers going through here we're good there drop you off there we'll go grab the seeds and we'll see what buildings we can sell over there we need money limes empty corns empty so the only thing we should have is just seeds right all right <laughs> all right, all right. Let's come in here. Uh, shift P. Uh, demolish. Oh, we get we get the value for whatever stuff's in there. Cool, we'll take it. 
take that. We'll sell that too. There's fertilizer in there. I just want to get rid of it. It's okay. Ew. Sell that. You. Water seeds, herbicide. I can't get it out. Yes, just okay. And that. While we're at it, let's just sell that too. Alright. And, yo, sell that. Look at that. <laughs> we're at a million dollars now. Imagine that. Now I can go set all that stuff to distribute and I don't have to worry about it not going into the wrong buildings and, and so on and so forth. <coughs> we'll put this in the red barn for now and we'll use it later for something. What that something is, I don't know, but it'll be something. And then I'll feel much better of getting all this stuff laid out the way it's supposed to be. Drop that off. Let's go into the production tabs now and make sure everything is going to where it's supposed to be going. So we need to make sure that this is... Ooh, I wonder. Well, I only need one of them to make seeds, so that's that's okay. So, where are you? You're the large. Here you are. We want you to take your corn. And we want you to distribute it. Then I want this, the closer one. It's gonna be the one that has lime in it. That's how we're gonna tell them apart. There we go. So we want you to make seeds. Activate. Beautiful. Now you're making seeds. Those are working. These are working, but I don't need them to distribute. We've got water in here. Beautiful. I believe we are caught up now. Or are we? I believe we're caught up. Let's finish clearing the grass out. I need, I need a minimum of 200,000 liters of, of grass uh, to, that's the magic number, 200,000 liters of grass to keep everything going. So we got a, a chunk of land over here that we can, uh, we can do and then across the river, we've got another chunk. So we're going to get this bad boy going, give me a few minutes, and we'll see you on the other side.
know if I told you guys or not, but I really love this Chrome setup. It makes things so much easier. But you know what's better than one Chrome? <laughs> Having a pair of Chromes. Maybe sometime in the near future, we'll be able to do that. All right, we're not quite at 200,000. However, we're not far either. So let's go ahead and take this and we'll dump what we have into the first red barn and we'll get solid production up and running. Houston, we have a problem. Some knucklehead left a tractor in the way. I don't know who could have done that, but let's go ahead and move this. Oh yeah, it's a bumpy ride. All right, don't hit the greenhouse. We just, we just got these installed. Let's jump into the crown. Yeah, there we go. Yo, take it. Um, there we go. We'll offload that into there. Beautiful. We pretty much got all the grass off of this new plot of land that we bought. I need to decorate this. Um, we may, I, I, I need to smooth it out too, right? But you know, all right. like at least the top half is good. It's just the bottom half over by the lake is where the issues are. Let's take a look at what we got here. Um, let's look at, uh, let's look at the map. I need to get another plot of land. Let's look at what we own. We own the blue ones, right? So there's the wood. There's the wood. Uh, this is the one we just bought. This one, this one, this one. All right. I think I want a plot of land, well, Actually, you know what? We can buy multiple plots of land right now. Let's buy this one. And we'll clear that one out really quick of the grass. Because I think this is where I want to put the sh uh, where I want to put uh, sheep, possibly. So let's buy that. There's another $79,876 that we just uh, spent. That's all right. We got 1.3 million, right? <laughs> It's not like we're uh, not like we're hurting for money, but one point. Just remember this: one point three million is nowhere near a billion. How many one point three millions do we need to make a billion? I guarantee. I, I, I guarantee Cromwell is going to put something in the in the comment section about. Uh, technically, it's this many <laughs> this many times. So let's get this going. Drop that like it's hot. Turn that on. Let's go into the back one. Oh, wait. It's down. Uh, back one. Front one. Nope, nope. There we go. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. Doom, 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 doom. Are you going to drop all of it? All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this uh, mode up really quick like to get it done uh pretty relatively close to lunch so let's see how let's see how quickly i can get this done
look at that. We're going to get it done just in time for lunch. I couldn't have planned that any better if I tried. Let's get this last little bit here. Pick that up, turn that off, hit that, go into the back, turn that up, turn that off. We'll go ahead and drop this into the same uh, red trailer as we can. Ooh, look at those bad boys swinging. Drop this off. There we go. Now I need to go into here and make sure that we turn on the production chain. Uh, all right, yo, this is the one that has lime in it. Yes. All right, we need to turn on silage and digestate. Yes, please activate that. Materials are missing. Are we getting any corn? Do we have any corn? Maybe it's just, maybe it hasn't, you know, corn. Open air market, corn. It says it's distributing. Distribute to here. Uh, Arg. It's missing, so doo -doo -doo. maybe it just takes a minute before it gets here. Maybe we just have to be a little. Well, let's make sure it didn't go over here, right? No, the corn's not there. Okay, that's a good thing. So, yeah, we'll check out for lunch. Maybe after, oh, wait, it just turned new. Maybe it's, are you there now? <laughs> Did you magically get there? All right, there we go, we got corn. All right, we just, we weren't patient enough. Yo, yo, let me in. I can't get in from that side, really? All right, <laughs> we'll get this bad boy over to uh, the tent. Or actually, we, we could talk about this for a second. So the idea is, I think we're going to get sheep, right? I'm thinking about sheep, uh, putting sheep in that uh, on the other side of the greenhouses, uh, possibly even getting a spinner going. But if we're going to do that, we need to buy another piece of land because we need grass to feed the sheep, which we need another piece of land anyway. We probably need two more pieces of land to be uh, brutally honest about it uh, but I'm not exactly sure how we're going to go about that there's part of me that's thinking maybe I get a second crone and we get two of them working at the same time um maybe <laughs> can we trust somebody to help us oh good lord I mean we're going to need to get some automation going i don't know man hiring a person off the street just scares the the bejeebies out of me right but it it's a thing right it's a thing so let's do this i'm gonna go ahead and park this bad boy i'm gonna uh you know get something to eat and we'll think about things so i'll catch you guys all after lunch all right, guys, we're back from lunch. It was Taco Tuesday, right? We had tacos, refried beans, some rice, and uh, Coca-Cola for lunch today. Had some time to stop and think about things and decide uh, what we're gonna do. And I decided that we need to get sheep going, but in order to get sheep going, we need to buy a piece of land. So let's go ahead and buy a uh, I was doing some ciphering and I figured that we could put a big field over here. So uh, let's go ahead and buy field 26 for uh, 79,876. 
let's go to the shop. We're going to buy us another mower. If one is good, two is better. Let me pick the colors out for it really quick. All right. That's looking pretty snazzy. Um, we'll go ahead and buy that for $380,000. We'll drive this out to the field. Um, and we're going to get things set up and we're actually going to, um, <laughs> we're going to put some people to work, right? I can only do so much by myself and uh, things are starting to get to the point that uh, we need some help. So we're going to, we're, we're going to let some, we're going to trust some young lads to uh, drive our expensive machinery. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right. We just hired the two lads that are off and running. Uh, hopefully they don't run into each other. Uh, let's see how they do. for the most part they did a good job uh, we had one worker that didn't understand that uh hey <laughs> the uh there's a setting to you can get it all the grass in one pile that's all right we can edu educate them so let's drop this down let's look in here let's change the swath all right and we'll go ahead and We'll catch the areas really quick that they didn't get uh, knocked out. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, we're at the yard here. We're going to pick up this trailer. And because one of the workers wasn't following directions, we're going to have to go to the shop and see if we can find a piece of equipment that will rectify this and um, I think there's something in the shop that we can uh, put on the front of the tractor to get a wind rower going oh my goodness oh, oh. all right I'll see you when I get there we're at the shop um, I think we're gonna need a little more traction so let's go in here and let's see if we can do something with the wheels let me find something that works for us. That'll work. We'll cuss, uh, that's $4,000. We'll get that. And let's go into the shop. Let's find us a wind rower that we can put on the front. We should have one. Uh, wind rowers, there they are. This is what we're looking for. I need... <laughs> 12 meters, 16 meters, 20 meters. 
Let's change the color because 69,500 is what this is gonna cost us. Hopefully uh, this will save us some time. All right, so let's hook it up. Oh yeah, we got some, we got twins on the back now. Maybe this will help us with uh, pulling this wagon. Oh, that's a beefy boy. That is a beefy boy. All right, let's hook it up. Let's see what she looks like. Um, okay. <laughs> it's a thing. I'll see you guys at the field. All right, we're at the field. Let's see how this works. Um, <laughs> we unfold it. Pretty happy with the way this worked. It cleaned up this mess awfully nice. Now, if I could get it all to fit in a trailer, it would be even better. I don't think I'm gonna get, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get that lucky. But what we can do is we can, um, we can get it all up in one windrow, right? So we'll take care of that. And we'll fold this up. We'll drop it off at the tent because we don't need that anymore. So uh, turn it off, fold it up. I'll see you guys at the tent. There we go. And we're gonna go over to our other plot of land. I decided during lunch that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the sheep business. We've got grass to feed them. We've got water to feed them. They make wool and uh, we put a spinnery down. So we have the land to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. And I even got a good spot for it. I am I might even say it's it may be the perfect spot for it. I, I don't know. You'll have to tell me, but I, I know where I'm putting it. Uh, let me know in the comment section where you would put it. Maybe, maybe you don't necessarily agree with me on it's the perfect spot. I think it is. So let's come over here. Let's get into this view. Spin this around. Um, let's go into animals, sheep. I am looking for which one? This one. Uh, spin that around. All right, let's pan out so we can see what we're doing. Um, you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be, boom. 
Uh, there it is. Um, I don't want to hear anything, right? <laughs> I told you guys I suck at terraforming. Uh, this is how it made it, and it is what it is. Uh, let me go grab the semi, and I'll see you guys at the shop. We're at the shop. Uh, let's look in here. We need an animal trailer. So where are the animal trailers? There they are. Animal transport. We want the three floor. It will allow us to move um, 144 pigs and 96 sheep. So let's pick a color really quick. If you know what color that is, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what color, what team this this represents. No, no, no. We'll buy that. That's a uh, seventy-three grand. All right, let's hook the truck up to it. And then we'll go grab some sheep. Oh, can I back this bad boy up? Well, I don't want to back it up. It's slow as Christmas going backwards. It may not be much faster going forward until you get into higher gears, but it is slow as Christmas going backwards. All right, here is where the animal trigger is. So let's go into there and see if I can figure out how to get animals in here. Um, there we go. We are looking for sheep and it, the white fleece with the, the black body is going to work just fine. We want the adult version and we'll buy 60 of them. And then we'll buy Is that the adult version? Yes. Um thirty six for a grand total is seventeen six thousand. I have to double check the math on that. All right, let's spin this bad boy around. And we'll get them offloaded. Yeah, look, they're all in there. You can see them. All right, yeah, go through the gears. One, two, three, four. How many gears does this thing have? Well, I see 12 so far. 13. Um, we may not get to the point that it opens it all the way up. Oh, that's not too terribly bad. Let's see if I can figure out how to get them in the pin now. Is it just as simple as, yo, hit the R trigger? <laughs> yes. Select them. Uh, move them. Yes, move 36. Now move. Oh, man. I had to hit the button. It's halfway in between, so we'll just go this way. Oh, wait, wait. There's the other 60. All right. And we got 96 out of 200. You know what that means. We need to go buy another round. All right. We're getting the next round. Select 60. So 60 of them is uh, 29,300. And 36 is 17,6. All right. So what I'll do is I'll put the grand total of all the sheep here for all of them.
that way uh no one says i'm cheating right i don't want to be accused of cheating i want to win this thing fair and square so we'll go ahead and we'll drop this off all right they're all in there 192 out of 200 we're not going to fill it up. They they will have babies. I don't know how long it'll take for them to have babies, but they're going to have babies. They better have babies. I don't want defective sheep. All right, let me run this back to the tent really quick, and uh, we'll see we'll see how much grass they need. We've got 200,000 liters of grass here. Uh, God, I hope they don't need 200,000 liters of grass, but if they do, they do, right? Let's move that to there. Uh, let's see what they need. Wow, they took more grass than I thought they would. Um, let's look into the animal husbandry tab. It says sheep. Um, they need 60,000 liters. Um, water, we have to give them water, All right? Let me go pick up the, the rest of the grass really quick and we'll put it into the silage maker before I forget about it. I'm an old man and sometimes my memory fades on me. I'll see you guys at the silage uh, barn. We picked up the grass that was on the field. We're up to 73. So there was 3% on the field. It was worth picking up. Every At this point, every penny helps in the challenge. I have to do some calculating to see well we'll find out in the beginning of next month where we're at because i honestly believe that with this new setup here um we'll really be skyrocketing soon so let's put this in the second red building All right, there you go. Because this month right now, we just have grapes and olives. However, next month we should have enough seed and fertilizer and herbicide to be able to get all five of these going, which means that that's uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and I'm not sure what the fifth one is, but there'll be a fifth one running with it. So let's park this. Let's grab the water. We'll see how much water we need for the sheep. We'll fill their tank up. Uh, I don't think they'll need 200,000 liters, but if they do, we have it. The, the beautiful thing is it doesn't take long to unload. We just need a trigger. Yep, yep. There, there's the trigger. Let's see how much water it'll take. 60,000 liters. Not a problem. All right. We're going to run over here. So I left a spot over here just in case I wanted to double up on the sheep. However, right over here between these two trees looks like a perfect spot to put down a spinnery. So let's see how much a spinnery is going to run us. Let's nope. The other other way jab. All right, let's go in here. Let's go into productions. There is a spinnery in here somewhere. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. That's the carpentry sugar mill. Nope. Grain mill spinnery. Here we go. It's a uh, 60,000. It is affordable. So, um, yeah, it will. Uh... All right, landscaping. It'll fit right in there. 60 grand. Boom. There it is. So let's take a look at this and let's see how this bad boy works. This is a new one for me. But all right, here's the spinnery. So what it does is it takes wool and cotton and turns it into fabric. 
So we can do fabric out of wool. We can do fabric out of cotton. And we can do a blend. So is the blend worth doing? So it's two for one on the wool. The cotton's five for three. Uh, five for three, two for one is eight. Actually, <laughs> it is worth doing. We'll have to look into it, into the uh, future. Give me some, uh, give me a second. I'm going to do some math really quick and I'll be right back. If we get 24,000 liters of wool in here in a month, we can get 12,000 liters of fabric. So let's look at what fabric sells for roughly. Fabric sells for, well, let's look at the price fluctuations. As high as 11,000, right? But that is not, this is the start, right? So if we got a fabric building, then we should have a clothing shop. Let's see if I can find it. The other building we put down is the tailor shop. It's a little pricey. Um, yo, where can we... Can I actually... Can we actually just kind of put them just like really close to each other? You know what? Yes, we can, and we will. Boom. There's uh, 100,071. So let's go look at... Oh, it's right off the road, too. So that'll make it easy for delivery. Oh, I didn't look to see where it spawns. Uh... Yeah, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into that. It's going to spawn back here, but uh, <laughs> that's a problem for another day. All right, let's take a look at this and open the production menu. So it takes uh, two fabric to make one clo cloth. And yeah, so if we use this blended, we can use 10 to make five. So... Let me do some math really quick and figure out what all this really translates into. I did some, I did some math and did some calculations. Basically with the sheet pin that we have now, we could probably expect uh, roughly two and a half pallets, two uh, or 2,600 liters of wool. If we run the, the wool through this one here, we'll end up getting about uh, 1,300 liters with a fabric. The fabric would be worth roughly $12,500. However, if we take that fabric and we run it through here and turn it into clothing, we'll get uh, 650 liters of clothing which is worth about $134,000. So every time you run something through a production building, it becomes worth more. So yeah. <clears throat> and that's, a, that's, that's roughly every month. So um, that's the theory. That's what I'm hoping on. We won't know for sure until a month or two down the line. But that's why we invested the money the way that we invested the money. And we're going to do that. Next thing we need to do is we need to head up to the ore mine and see how much of the pile that we have over there and put it into the, the bin because uh, it gets to a certain point and it stops uh, making it. So I'll see you guys at the ore mine. Here we are at our beautiful ore mine and uh, it looks like it's, it may be maxed out already. Dang it. <laughs> All right. 
Let's get that. Let's get hook this up. Let's spin it around. Let's turn it on. Oh, this thing is this thing is beautiful. It works amazingly. No, the only sad thing is this is going to have to be a daily chore for us that we're going to have to knock out. But on the other hand, it's a chore that won't take us very long. And that's 44,000 liters. So, hey, I'm happy with that. Let's turn that off. We'll drop that off. We'll back that up for a second. Drop that off. And that takes care of that chore for the day. Now, I know what you guys are, are wondering. You're just like, well, you planted those trees, but we don't see them. Uh, let's see if I can find one. I think I see one. Right there. Guys, they're saplings, right? There's one right there. They're just babies right now. It, it'll take some time. They will grow, I promise. <laughs> we may even get a chance to cut them back down again. What time is it? Uh, you know what? We've got enough time. Let me go grab the weight. And uh, we're going to... We're going to invest in something at the, at the shop. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. I thought about it and really we need to get a bigger weight and I'll show you why, because we're getting a bigger plow. So let's get the plow. Let's see. 330, 370. Go big or go home. We've got the horsepower. So let's do this. Let's choose a color out of my thing. So give me a second. That looks good for colors. We'll buy that for $87,000. Let's go back. Let's get us a weight now. Well, we'll get this three ton one then instead. There's 34.50. For a grand total of 90,450. And while I'm at it, I want to change the color of the tractor. Well, that didn't work next time. All right, let's grab the weight and now you understand why you're just, I was just like, yo, I need to get a weight. Uh, this is a big, this is a big boy, right? It's wide. However, remember our tractor has a buttload of horsepower, right? And if you were wondering, you're just like, Jeff, that tractor's not going to pull it. Yes, it will. Because the horsepower of our tractor is 890 horsepower, right? <laughs> I know it looks crazy. But like I said, it doesn't break the rules. So if you got a problem with it, uh, please your case in, in the comment section you may win i have i had made some changes because of some people i'm not going to say any names all right let's fold this bad boy out right i'm not exactly sure how wide she gets oh my <laughs> oh my that is wide all right let's drop it like it's hot no 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 Drop it like it's hot. Right, no. 
Oh wait, it would help if I hit the hit hit the cruise control and let's see how long it takes us to plow this field. This definitely made quick work of this field. This gives me hope for the future because we have a bunch of fields that we're going to have to make in the near future. And uh, this is definitely going to make it easier than the way the way we did, we did it in the past. Now, granted, we did it the way in the past that we did it because uh, <laughs> Remember, we started off with no money, so we were balling on a budget and we had to make our way up. Now, by no stretch of the imagination is $490,000 a lot of money either, not when you can compare it to our goal of a billion. However, I feel like we're in a very good spot right now. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're just like, Jap, you're a long way off. Hang on a second, right? The pieces are, the pieces are about to fall into place. It's just uh it takes a little bit of time all right so we're gonna fold this bad boy up and we're gonna get this back to the yard and we have to move a couple other pieces to the yard and once i round up all the equipment uh, we'll talk about uh what's next ladies and gentlemen it's beer 30. i feel like we've got a lot of stuff accomplished today uh we can do a, a quick synopsis, right? <laughs> we moved, we moved all our uh, greenhouses and got them all lined up. We got uh, sheep going. We mowed grass. We got a field planted. We bought a new, some new pieces of equipment. Got the metal going. So I feel like today has been an extremely productive day. And tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but next month, man. I've got big plans in, in store for it. Guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, hey, hit the thumbs up button, right? Hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me, you know, what you would like to see or what am I doing wrong, right? I'll see you guys next time. If I don't see you in between now and, you know, the weekend, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your holiday. And as always, happy farming.